The sun was beginning its descent as I embarked on a journey through the heart of the Philippines. I had heard stories of a shortcut that could trim hours off my trip, a road nestled between the towering peaks of the Sierra Madre Mountains. Eager to save time, I decided to take the unfamiliar route. The road started off like any other, winding through lush greenery and picturesque landscapes. The air was thick with humidity, and the cicadas' chorus accompanied my journey. My excitement turned to unease as the daylight waned, casting eerie shadows that seemed to dance in the corners of my vision. My GPS signal became spotty, leaving me with nothing but the dim headlights to guide me. The road ahead grew narrower, and the dense foliage crept ever closer, as if trying to swallow me whole. My heart raced, the solitude and darkness forming a sinister alliance. Unease turned to dread when I saw a figure up ahead, standing in the middle of the road. I slammed on the brakes, the tires screeching as the car came to a halt just inches from the figure. My breath caught in my throat as the headlights revealed a woman, her white gown flowing like mist around her. I rolled down the window, my voice shaking. Are you okay? What are you doing here? She turned slowly, her face obscured by long, tangled hair. For a moment, I thought I saw hollow eyes staring back at me, devoid of life. My pulse quickened, and a chill ran down my spine. I need a ride, the voice echoed, a haunting melody that sent shivers down my spine. Against my better judgment, I unlocked the passenger door. She climbed in, her presence filling the car with an otherworldly chill. I resumed driving, my eyes darting between the road and the enigmatic passenger. Where are you headed? I asked, my voice betraying my anxiety. Keep driving. I'll let you know when to stop, she replied, her gaze fixed straight ahead. The road stretched on in an endless ribbon, the landscape becoming increasingly unfamiliar. Time seemed to warp, minutes feeling like hours, as I drove deeper into the heart of the mountains. The woman remained silent, her gaze unwavering. A thick fog began to roll in, obscuring the path ahead. Panic welled up inside me as I realized I had no idea where I was or where I was heading. The woman's presence seemed to grow stronger, suffocating me with a sense of impending doom. Finally, she spoke again, her voice sending a jolt of terror through my veins. Stop the car! I slammed on the brakes, the car skidding to a halt on the fog-drenched road. I turned to face her, my heart pounding in my chest. Her face was now visible, pale and gaunt, her eyes empty voids that seemed to draw me in. You're in my domain now, she whispered, her voice a symphony of malevolence. As the woman's icy fingers brushed against my arm, a scream tore from my throat. I kicked and thrashed, finally managing to open the door and stumble out onto the road. The fog seemed to wrap around me, cocooning me in a swirling abyss. I ran blindly, branches tearing at my clothes, the woman's haunting laughter echoing in my ears. Just as I felt my strength waning, I burst through the fog and onto a familiar road. My car sat there, the engine running, as if waiting for me. With one last glance at the fog-shrouded nightmare behind me, I leaped into the car and sped away, my heart racing, my mind forever scarred by the horrors I had witnessed. The haunting highway had shown me the darkness that lingered beneath the surface, a darkness that had come perilously close to claiming me forever.